Hello and welcome to the International School of Traders. Uh, guys, today I'm answering, you know, I'm looking at the trades that we are having and we are looking at today. Okay, awesome stuff. Let's look at the news in terms of what's happening fundamentally. Uh, today we are looking at the core CPI month on month. Uh, it's coming in 24 minutes. Uh, we are already in the US session. Uh, so we are actually right now uh, waiting for this uh, CPI news. And then we are going to be having, you know, some uh, federal budget balance later today at eight. No, which I expected to move the market uh, later on today. So uh, other than that, there is uh, some crude oil stock uh, API. Uh, it's 10 o'clock in the evening tonight. Okay, cool stuff. Now let's go into the market and let's just check uh, what are the things that are going on right now? I'm going to start off with XAUUSD as I go into the market and show you guys. Uh, according to XAUUSD, as we've been following and we've been looking at XAUUSD, we are currently at resistance, right? Now, without a doubt, according to the study of gold that you guys are receiving and are about to receive, uh, it's going to show you, know, it's going to tell us a different story. But according to price action right now, uh, this is uh, currently the structure that we need to uh, observe, uh, you know, closely. This is the structure that we need to observe closely. And I believe that uh, as market is climbing towards the top side, there's high probability of it going all the way up. But if it doesn't, we're going to be waiting on these zones for buying, okay? We're going, we're going to be waiting at 17.92, for buyers, if market does, if market does change its narrative or its direction later today. Uh, other than that, let's see what the market has for us uh, on CAT CHF. CAT CHF is currently at resistance. Uh, guys, uh, my PC these days is just clearing things up every time I switch it off, so I just don't mind, uh, you know, uh, seeing the charts all over again or seeing it different the other time and stuff like that. Uh, it's my PC, right? Cool stuff. Now let's look at what's busy happening. So uh, on, on CAT CHF, we discussed earlier this week that we want to uh, look at CAT, CH, CAT CHF in this manner, right? Where we are having, um, where we are seeing at least this retracement as a, a, a good retracement. The 50% is there, yes. But I really love to get the 61.8 or the 78.6. As the as the as our point of selling in this particular case, why do I not sell here? Uh, you know, market has broken some beautiful levels here above us. So, uh, selling in this case, actually in this market, is a good thing. Let me just check on the fifty percent level here. Fifty percent level is look is quite looking good. So, we can put a sell limit here on CAT CHF. Uh, CAT CHF. Just give it a sell limit. Okay, cat CHF, and then my stop loss. Uh, let's, I'm going to move it now quickly. Uh, and then my stop loss. Okay, cool. So my stop loss is slightly up, you know, it's on 27 pips. Uh, and my take profit is uh, should be down there on 90, 87 pips, 87 pips. Okay, cool. So where is my sell limit? My sell limit is actually at, uh, my sell limit is at uh, uh, 0 0.73584. Uh, and then uh, my stop loss is at 0 0.73. Uh, eight three four, uh, and then my take profit is at zero point seven two seven seven eight, right? So that is the sell limit on uh, CAT CHF currently. EuroCAD, what's going on? Uh, EuroCAD, I am in a sell as I mentioned in the group. I am in a sell on this guy. So if you are in, uh, please just hold on tight. We are going to be taking this one all the way down. Now I didn't. 
three analyzed it you know since the previous video which is the weekly analysis showed you guys what to look at here but this is uh, this is the this is the whole idea we are selling all the way down right and euro usd euro usd as i mentioned that we need to look at buying here uh, i think you know uh, i wasn't ready for this but i'm uh, you know i should be looking to buy right now let me just look how many pips from entry are we right now okay we're just five pips away from entry the thing i, I don't like right now is that i'm on a buy on gbp usd i'm also on a sell on usd jpy right uh, so having all these positions in place makes me wonder if uh, i should take your usd because it's now you know over risking uh, over risking on the dollar itself but you know let's see how things go let's use price action according to price action we can still buy here and then put a stop loss below this level right here which is 18 pips uh, 18 pips 18 pips on a hundred dollar account 0 0.01 can be uh, uh, at least 1.8 percent risk right can be at least 1.8 percent risk okay cool now let us check uh I'll take profit here take profit I'm looking at those highs we can even swing on this one that is why i'm putting those previous highs but we can even look at this one as a potential as a potential uh high right 18 pips against uh, 150 pips is such a big potential uh, trade right cool now let us look at uh, some other trades adjpy what's going on in adjpy unfortunately we didn't take this trade uh, but it's still showing some good signs of rallying all the way up right uh, now let me just search on this particular trade and see if we can uh, take a trade hmm. potential here on these zones for buyers these two zones the first one is this one and the second one is this one big potential now for buyers here uh, but we we'll discuss it further uh, in the group right we'll, we'll discuss it first in the group but i think i can still you know have an early buy uh, this is my early buy my stop loss is exactly at 16 pips and then uh, my take profits will be those highs uh, so if you know that your account is a little bit smaller you know you don't have to over trade uh, you just need to be you know looking at these things and and be cool with whatever that is going on uh, okay use this uh, let's look at use this uh, guys yes this are uh, we've been discussing for days now and this is what has been happening there's no way now we can look for entry there is going to be entry in the near future but you know it's already broken we cannot fix it and we cannot chase it with gbp cat i'm also fine with that euro jpy i'm also fine with whatever is going on uh, euro gbp i'm also fine Euro and the D, I'm also fine. Uh, some things here. Let's see. There's only one particular. Okay, cool stuff. And the D cat, right? And the D cat should be very, very, very important to us uh, uh, in these cases. Why? Um, market is really planning on doing some beautiful things here for us. Uh, Okay, let me put it you know, the right way. We having, we had this, and then we had this. And now it's a similar situation right there. So 
let's look for let's see here and then let's go to an hour oh this is what i'm seeing here let me see here this one i'm buying at a very right time here um Uh, according to my analysis. According to my analysis, I'm like buying at the right time here. And the decay. Okay, my, my stop loss is at, as I'm gonna be sharing with you a buy on the group, my stop loss is at 0 0.86851. Uh, my take profit is at 0 0.88303, uh, uh, cool stuff. Uh, there is uh, what's going on. Yeah, that's all for today. Let me see if Nasdaq is doing anything. Uh, yeah. uh, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. There's no need and no way to actually chase NASDAQ. Uh, there's no need and no way to chase NASDAQ. Uh, there's no need to chase NASDAQ, so we just need to slide or use cheat codes at half a three. All right, cool stuff. Now let us go. Okay, see you guys on the other side of the withdrawals.